Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. There's been a new update to the Kodiak 100. Want to know what's in it? Then stay tuned right here on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. some of the fixes on this update. So the first fix that they've done was reduce the P factor and the prop wash on the rudder. The second one is they fixed the aircraft CFG file that prevented ATC from calling out custom tail numbers and airlines. The third fix is a tail flutter happening at speeds over 35 knots. We're going to make sure that we test this once installed. For the fourth and final fix is to the G1000 unit inside the cockpit. So if we zoom in here to the G1000, and we are using the NXI mod for today. If we go over here to the menu on the PFD, we can select a brightness level. Well, at the current time, if we try to adjust this brightness level at any point, it doesn't do anything. All right, so now that we've talked about the fixes that they've implemented, let's show you how to download this so we can get it going and test out all the new features. All right, so now to get the update, you just need to head right over to the supplier in which you bought it from. In our case, we purchased this from JustFlight, and all we need to do is head over to the JustFlight.com website Hop into your account, go to your orders, and it will bring up all the different orders. Then you can click on the Kodiak 100, and then just click on the installer for the Kodiak 100. Now once you do that, it's going to populate down here in the web browser, and then all we need to do is to click on the installer. Now I would assume that this is going to apply for any other distributors of the software, that you can just go to their website, download it, and then do the same thing. So we're gonna click yes on the installer and it'll bring us up to the welcome to the SWS Kodiak 100. So all we need to do is click the next and then we can just agree to the statement here. If you want the new update, you will. <laughs> and then click the next button and then make sure that you have the destination folder correct. Now if you're using an app like Add-on Linker, here's where you would wanna make sure that you have the correct folder in here so that uh, you can use your add-on linker appropriately. But if you're not using add-on linker and you want to deposit this directly in your community folder, well, the community folder should be what is populated in here for us. And that's where we're going to put it so we can just hit the install button and allow it to do its thing. And by the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And I highly suggest you go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. If you do like the video today, smash on that thumbs up. It really helps us get found by viewers like yourself. And if you have any questions along the way, make sure you post those down below in the comments section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so now that that is done, we can create a desktop shortcut, and we'll go ahead and do that. Next, all we have to do is hit the finish button, and you're all done. So now all we have to do is go ahead and load Microsoft Flight Simulator again, and let's check out the new features. Welcome back to St. Bart's everyone. We've got the new update for the Kodiak 100 installed. And I do apologize that I had the simulator volume up a little bit too high on the first cut of that at the beginning. So I've went ahead and fixed that so we won't have that issue once we test out these new fixes. All right, so let's hop right in here and see what's going on. So I am using track IR right now and that's gonna help me uh, get around here because we are gonna be doing a little test flight. I do love the sounds of the Kodiak, it is fantastic. If you are a C208 user and you love flying the Cessna Caravan, I think you would really, really love this plane. Anybody that has the Kodiak 100, post down in the comments what your feelings are on the plane. The first thing that I wanted to really take a look at was the G1000 in here. Let's take a look at the uh, panel brightness here and see if uh, we've got any changes. Now, one thing I did note that down here on your instrument panel knob, you need to make sure that you turn that all the way up on full brightness 
when you load into the aircraft, this is turned off, essentially. So it's going to make everything kind of look like that. So you need to turn this all the way up, and then we've got good brightness. Now if we go into the menu here and we go over, we can adjust whether we want manual, and then when we go over to the percentage, we can turn this down on our own, and you can see the display getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. So that's how you would operate the brightness on the G1000 in the Kodiak. And we could just leave that on auto, and it will auto adjust for us depending on the brightness, I would assume. Let's turn the time all the way back to nighttime and see what happens. All right. So now if we click on the menu, yep, that it did. So it put us down on 30%, even though we have the brightness turned all the way up down here on the instrument panel. So that's one of the biggest things is you really need to make sure that this instrument panel is turned up because again, when you load into the aircraft, it is all the way in the off position. The one on the right here is going to adjust all the backlighting for all your other switches and knobs and buttons and stuff. All right, so uh, let's let's uh, release the brakes and see how this thing gets off the ground. He's having some fun over there. <laughs> All right, so for this aircraft, it says to put flaps down in the second position, which is the uh, which is the 20 degree mark. I seem to like only at the uh, 10 degree mark. All right, and we want to make sure that you put your trim almost like 75% forward or so. I think that's what they said, but right around there is where I find it pretty good. And then let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it definitely doesn't pull as hard left anymore. You don't need all that right rudder like you needed before. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep. Yeah, before it would also used to yank, as soon as you pull off the ground, it would want to uh, just really yank you to the left really bad. And you would either have to be on right rudder and also giving some right aileron just to compensate. I'm gonna go flaps up and we can adjust the trim now. Again, this is not a uh, fly how-to video on the Kodiak by any means. We are just testing out the new features of the update and uh, I'll say it makes it much, much, much more flyable especially on takeoff. Again, I think all of the fixes, or most of them, have to deal with takeoff. Really, it's nice. All right, so let's come around here and see if we can make a landing right over there at uh, St. Bart's. And if anybody has any questions along the way, please post those down below in the comments, and I'll get right back with you. Also, if you haven't seen my latest video on graphics settings, I'll post that up here in the corner. Click on that if you'd like to get the most out of your Microsoft Flight Sim experience. Unfortunately, coming this way, you cannot even see the runway, so this is going to be a guess. And there you go, folks. All right, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. If you haven't done so, please go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. And if this video did help you out, smash on that thumbs up button. To all my flight servers out there around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.